Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome home to the gates of refuge. Amen. Listen, if we have any, any adults or members that are over in our fellowship hall, please have them come over. We are getting ready to enter into prayer. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. So listen, please don't just be a spectator doing prayer. If you need to walk around, walk around. We're going to take the next three to four minutes, if that, and we are going to petition the throne and we're going to set the atmosphere for worship. Amen. Are you excited this morning? You can do better than that. You ought to be excited. Hallelujah. Father God, we give you praise. We give you praise that we enter this morning into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We're thankful unto you, O Lord. And we bless your name for you are good. Your mercy is everlasting and your truth endure to all generations. And so, God, before we even ask you for anything, the first thing we want to do is tell you thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for giving us our health and strength. Thank you for clothing us in our right mind. We give you praise that we didn't die in our sleep last night. We give you praise that we had gas to drive to church this morning. We give you praise that we opened up a refrigerator that had food enough to eat. God, we want to tell you, thank you. He got time. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we stand before you this morning grateful, God. Thank you for watching over us through danger seen and unseen. Thank you for giving us traveling grace and mercy. God, we give you praise. God, and we tell you thank you this morning. Hey, yeah, ba 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 so God, thank you for our health and strength. God, thank you for watching over us and keeping us. God, thank you for jobs. Thank you for money in the bank. We give you praise, God. Thank you for a full pantry. Thank you for health and strength for our loved ones. Thank you. He We tell you thank you, Lord. And as we transition into another worship experience, God, the anointing is already here. We give you praise that blinded eyes are going to see. We give you praise that deaf ears are going to hear. We give you praise that the lame are going to walk. God, we thank you. We come against laziness this morning. We come against lethargy this morning. Right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise for unity. Right now in Jesus' name. We thank you that it is like the precious oil that flows down from the head to the beard to the skirts. We come against division this morning. Right now in the name of Jesus. Echo, we come against attitudes and intonations this morning. Right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you praise that we all go up together. We give you praise that we ascend to the place where you are. We give you praise, not for an out of court experience, not for an inner court experience, but that we enter into the holies of holies, the place where you are. God, we give you praise that there's a dimension, a realm in worship that's gonna open up this morning. We give you praise that you gave us the garment of praise called the spirit of heaviness. We give you praise this morning that every sick person going to leave healed. He can talk about I say because you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon us, and by your stripes we are healed. We give you praise this morning. Hey, go talk about, about, about that the anointing is not coming, but it's already here, and we declare and decree that in this service the Holy Ghost is going to do the work. We give you praise that if somebody came depressed, they going to leave with hope. We give you praise that if somebody came broken, they going to leave put back together. We give you praise that if somebody came for a word, they going to leave with a right now word, a rainbow word. We think that our tongues are the pen of a ready writer. We give you praise this morning that we got the tongue of the learn, that we may speak a word in season to them that are weary. We give you praise this morning. Hey, yeah, Set this place on fire, Holy Ghost. 
set it on fire. Hey, my protector, baby, baby, everything that's not like you, it's got to go. Everything that doesn't promote who you are and what you are, it's got to go. No flesh shall glory in your presence this morning. Every song that's sang shall be sang under the anointing. Every verse that's sang shall be sang under the anointing. Every note that's played shall be played under the anointing. We give you praise. We thank you for a free flow of your spirit this morning. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And we thank you for liberty this morning. We thank you that the captives are going to be set free this morning. We give you praise that this is the acceptable year of the Lord. We cover the man of God right now. We give you praise for a word, a right now word, a word released in season, a word released with clarity, a word released with precision, a word released with depth. Right now in the name of Jesus, we give you glory for it now. We give you praise for it now. And we declare and decree that in this service, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is the Lord. We come against every altar that's been erected. That's not the altar of Jesus Christ. We bind the works of the enemy right now. In Jesus' name, Jezebel, you got to go. We cut your head off with the sword of Jehu. Right now in the name of Jesus, he cut the ba -ba 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 -say, and we release the power of God in this atmosphere. Holy Ghost, do the work. We release the power of the anointing. Right now in the name of Jesus, we take this anointing and we aim it and shoot it this morning. Hey, my The fellow ground this morning, we break it up. We break it up this morning. He my protect And I declare and decree over these that we shall live in that time and declare the works of the Lord. Let the sound be released as a clarion call to everybody that's supposed to be under this anointing. Let them get here. He cut to toe. -to. Don't let them rest until they get here. I give you praise that from the gates of refuge, every need is met. I give you praise that there is no lack at the gates of refuge. I give you praise that we won't have to beg and plead when it comes offering time. But you've already spoken to your people. And we give you praise. He cut to toe to toe to toe. Hey, my cote, so my Listen, on the count of three, I want you to shabak him real, real good. Y'all playing with me in here this morning. But we're going to release the sound of the Lord this morning that, the that no devil in hell is going to be able to stay in here. So on the count of three, I want you to open up your mouth and give him the sacrifice of praise continually, which is the fruit of your lips. On the count of three, one, two, three. Come on and Shabbat the Lord. Hey, glory. Y'all playing with me up in here. Y'all playing with me up in here. I had faded to, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen that. Y'all playing with me. Came to bless him this morning. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. You ought to bless the Lord in here. You are a good sovereign Jesus Christ. You are a good Lord. And today. 
you are all that I need. Jesus, you are everything that I need. Jesus, you saved me when I was a wretch undone. Jesus, I glorify you in this place. You are magnified and lifted up. In this place, forever and ever, God, we will bless your name at all times, and your praise will continually be in our mouth this day and forevermore. Hallelujah. Y'all clap your hands right there for Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless his name in this place. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you a sacrifice this morning because the victory is yours. Victory belongs to you, Jesus. And therefore, we've got the victory. Can you say, I got the victory? I know I got the victory because the promises of God are yea and amen.
It's turning around for me. It's turning around for me. Say it. It's turning around for me. 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 While I'm sleeping. While I'm giving. While I'm sowing. While I'm praying. While I'm fasting. It's turning around for me. It's turning around for me. It's turning around. For me, late in the midnight hour, say late. late in the midnight hour. God's gonna and around and around and around, and around from the top. We're blessed, we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field, we're blessed when we come, when we go, we cast down sickness and poverty. For the devil is, we are. You know that you should not be here. You know that if it were left up to you, that you would have been out of here. But because favor is on your life, because there's a word over your head, because God knows what you need, you ought to say with a real loud voice, I am blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow. We are blessed. It's turning around for me. 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 Me. I know what the note says. I know what the bill says. Turning around for me. Turning around for me. Oh, come on, put your hands up in this place. And if you can feel it turning for you, lift your hands and worship him now. Come on, if you can feel something happening in the atmosphere, go ahead and lift your hands up in a worship. Come on, if you know something is shaking around you and you know something is pulling you to higher, lift your hands and begin to worship him. Come on, out of the fruit of your lips, begin to tell him what you need. Tell him who he is. Tell him how much you need him. Tell him just how much you appreciate him. Come on, right here, worship him in this place. Come on, not for mama, not for daddy. Come on, not for husband, not for wife. But for the giver of creation, the one who made you in his likeness, worship him. Come on, everybody. Get out of your way now and ascend to the holy place where the angels cry, holy, 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 holy. Come on, that's where we want to go, right there. Above all the noise, above all the mess, ascend your spirit now to the throne room. Because there's nothing worth more that will ever come close. Oh, Jesus. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close nothing can compare you're our living hope your presence lord your presence lord hallelujah I've tasted and seen 
the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence Lord we're gonna say Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. Let us become, let us become, 
have an opening, say it again. Oh. Come on, worship in this place. Oh. That's when you forget about all your worries. You just say, oh. You may have came in here with tears in your eyes, but you said, Worship you, to worship you. Worship you. 
Come on, lift your voice. Oh. Come on, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Come on, lift your voice and say, oh. One more time. Let every believer just say, oh. Oh. oh, oh, we love you. Oh, we need you. King of glory. Come on, one more time. Oh, we love you. Oh, we need you. Hey, bye, 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 me, Asha. Jesus, your Lord. Jesus, your Lord. Jesus, your Lord. Jesus, your Lord. Jesus is Lord. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Come on, I need every believer to say it. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Come on, say it. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hey, hey, hey. Jesus is Lord. Come on, lift it up. Jesus is Lord. We say Jesus is Lord. 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 Come on, if you know him to be the Lord. Everybody sing it. Jesus is Lord. Come on, Jesus is Lord. He's the God of every nation. We gonna bless His name. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Feel this place. Would you feel this place? Come on, y'all say, feel this place. Feel this place. Yeah, feel this place. Would you feel this place? Say, feel this place. 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 Come on, I want you to lay hands on your chest and say it. Feel this place. Come on, do it. Feel this place. More room for you. More room for you. More room for you. More room for you. Say, feel this place. Come on, lay your hands on your chest. Feel this place. Come on, five more times. Feel this place. 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 More room for you. Hey, there's room for you. There's room for you. Ay, 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 There's room for you. There's room for you. Hey, feel this place. 
There's room for you. There's room for you. Anybody got room for it? Anybody got room for it? Anybody got room for him? There's room for you. There's room for you. Room for you. Come on, everybody say, There's room for you. 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 Come on, we have been maxed out. Hey, hey, there's room for you. There's room for you. There's room for you. Come on, we got to move. Every worshiper, there's room for you. Come on, you need to tell the Father. There's room for you. Got more room for you. There's room for you. There's room for you. There is room for you. There's room for you. Come on, lift your hands and just shout yes, Lord. Come on, just shout yes. Come on, just shout yes. Come on, tell him yes. Come on, we drive Satan out. We drive depression out. We drive fear out. By the authority of Jesus. I want you to lift your hands and, and, and pray in the spirit. Come on, right now, the Spirit of God is, is making room. Come on, He's asking, Is there space for me? Come on, is there space for me? Is there occupancy for me? Come on, and I want the church to say, Yes, Lord. Come on, come on, yes. Come on, yes. Come on, yes! We drive out fear. Come on, we drive out addiction. And we say yes to Jesus. Come on, yes to Jesus. Yes to Jesus. Oh, I feel the anointing. Come on, say yes to Jesus. I say yes to yes. Come on, open your mouth. Yes to Jesus. Yes to his way. Come on, yes to his lordship. Yes to his power. Yes to your authority. Come on, say yes. Yes, Jesus. Come on, I need every believer. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Je yes, Jesus. Come on, say yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You are Lord. You are Savior. No man can come to the Father. Woo! Come on, two more minutes. Everybody say yes, Jesus. Come on, open your mouth. Yes, Jesus. I need you to talk in here. Yes, Jesus. Is he your Lord? Is he your Lord? Come on, everything in here say yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Because I love you. Because I need you. Because I can't make it without you. Woo! Hey! Let Jesus fill this place. Let Jesus Feel this place. On the count of three, I want you to shout yes. One, two, three. Yeah. Come on, 
say yes, Lord. Come on, say yes, Lord. Come on, say yes, Lord. Yes, I'll serve you. Now give God a shout of praise. Come on, for his keeping power. Come on, let's praise him for being a keeper. When we should have been dead. Let's praise him for being a keeper this week. A keeper of our mind. A keeper of our bodies. A provider. Come on, praise him. Listen. Listen. Come on, praise it. Should have been dead. Woo. Come on, praise God with it. Worthy to be praised. Hey, worthy to be praised. Worthy to be praised. Worthy. Worthy. Hey. Worthy. 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 Hey. Worthy. 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 Bless your name. Bless your name. Worthy. Hey. Worthy. Worthy to be put, worthy, hey, worthy, 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 hey, worthy, worthy, show you worthy, show you his worth, give him his worth it, God, we give you your worship, what, 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 worthy, hey. worthy to be put. Worthy, worthy from the rising of the sun. Your name, your name, your name, your name, your name, your name. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Hey, we bless your name. 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 Bless your name. Bless your name. Praise him. 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 Praise
bless his name. Come on, bless his name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt. Woo! Nobody could do it. Nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. Come on, praise him. He's worthy of more. He's worthy of more. The one who never sleeps. The one who never slumbers. Full of grace. Full of mercy. Full of kindness. His blood. Ain't never lost his power. And for that we praise you. And it reaches. Come on, can you praise him for reaching? His blood reaches to the highest mountain. And it flow. Come on, if you've ever been down. Come on, praise him if you've ever been down. And he snatched you out of a horrible pit. Come on, praise it. Strong deliverer. Strong redeemer. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Who can stand before us? 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 Say, say, victory is ours. Come on, shout! I've got the victory. Come on, I've got the victory. Hey, come on, play the for the victory. Hey, victory. Come on, you can play the for hey, victory, victory. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise is for the spirit of heaviness. The garment of praise is for the spirit of heaviness. Woo! It's been a heavy week with the garment of... Come on, I dare you just to lay your head back and say, God, I praise you. Come on, God, I praise you. God, I praise you. Hey, I make a decision. I make a choice. I'm going to praise you. I'm going to... I'm going to praise you. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna praise you. I'm gonna pray. I will bless the Lord. How about Kosia? I will bless the Lord. Okababa Hashia Namaha. <laughs> Come on, give him praise. Come on, you don't know what. He's been our deliverer. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Come on, man, shut
call my son. He's done more than I ever expected. He's done more than I ever expected. Oh, my son. Come on, just give the Lord a wave offering. Give the Lord a wave offering. Come on, thank him. I want you to just wave to him. If you've been a recipient of his goodness, come on, we can raise shit. Come on, if you've been a recipient of Hekoshia Man, you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Oh my, you alone are worthy. You alone are worthy. Oh, you alone are worthy. Hey, you alone are worthy. Hey, come on, you say, you alone. Yes. Come on, you tell them you alone. Yes. Come on. Tell them out of your mouth, you alone. Hey, oh, shit. Oh, you alone. Ooh. Come on, say, you alone. Nobody but you, Jesus. You alone. Hey. Come on, say, you alone are worthy. Church, you will learn. Come on, testify. Tell of his goodness. Hey, you will learn. Oh, hey, nobody but you. Come on, sing it, son. You will learn. You belong. You belong. You belong. You belong. You belong. You Nobody gets the credit. Nobody gets the praise but you. Of all praise. You belong. You belong. You belong. Uh, of our praise how about that machine somebody say yes come on 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 say yes hey oh we look to you oh we look to you Somebody say that thing. I look to you. I look to you. No other help I know. I look to you. I look to you. Hey, nobody but us but you. Nobody else but you. Nobody else but you. Nobody else but you. I look to you. Hey, hey, hey. I look to you. Because you got all power in your hand. <laughs> got all power. Hey, in your hand. You got all power in your hand. So I look to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every answer. Every answer to every problem. Put your hands up. Echo Every problem that we have. Come on, tell him it's in your hands. Come on, tell him it's in your hand. Come on, Jess. It's in your hands. 
Right now, there is a spirit of heaviness that is being chased out of your mind, out of your heart. Just put your hands up. The enemy is being evicted, right? Come on. If, if, if you've been carrying a heaviness, come on, say, say, Jesus, I'm ready. Come on, say, Jesus, I'm ready. Come on, Jesus, I'm ready. Come on, say, Jesus, come in. Come on, stay by there. Say, Jesus, come in. Tell him, Jesus, come in. Yeah. Jesus, come in. Come on, Jesus, come in. The enemy can't stay. And the Lord is that spirit. And the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is. There is. Come on. Come out now. Jesus, fill the place. Hey, Jesus, fill the place. Can't stay here. Come on, talk. Can't stay here. Can't stay. Hey, can't stay. Come on, I want you to talk. Can't stay here. Spirit of heaviness. Come on, talk. Can't stay. Can't stay. You gotta go. Go now. Go. Go now. Go. 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 Go in Jesus' name. 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 By the power of Jesus. Hey! Come on, your Lord. Hey! Spirit of heaviness. We rebuke you now in Jesus' name. Hey, every time. Really fast, if, if you're here and you have not been sleeping at night, I want you to run up here real quick. If you have not been sleeping at night, if your sleep has been disturbed, interrupted, you're not sleeping all the way through the night, come to this altar. Man, woman, boy, girl, just find you a spot up here. Find you a spot. Just put your hands up. Just slip your hands up. This is Psalm 127 and 2. 
It says, it is vain for you to rise up early to take rest late. Listen, to eat the bread of toil. For he gives rest to his beloved sleep. For so he gives unto his beloved sleep. It is a right you as a believer to get sleep. Sleep is not something that we earn. Sleep is not something that you qualify for if you have made all of your marks and met your goals and itinerary for the day. Sleep is something that you require and it belongs to you as a child of God. Close your eyes. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that there are believers at this altar. Every person at this altar say, we believe that you died. We believe that you rose for us. Say yes. And Father, because of that, because we were with you, we were in you, Jesus, when you died on the cross, you paid the penalty. And in you, we have authority. Lift your hands now. Father, in Jesus' name, I come against this spirit that would, would disrupt the rest of your people of God. Come on, I just want you to receive. I thank you that this spirit of torment is being evicted now in G Komasa sleep paralysis this irregular breathing at the nighttime come out in Jesus name come on come out you spirit of torment we rebuke it now you can't have the mind hey in every reoccurring dream re rejection and trauma the Lord says I've come to heal Come on, just say, yes, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. It will no longer have power over you. Come on, and we give your name praise. Come on, I want you to just receive. I say, I receive rest. Come on, just tear it just for a second. I receive rest. I receive rest. Come on, open your oko shabai. You will no longer, echo masa, you are disrupting this man's life and when we serve notice Satan that you cannot have him come on fight preacher you cannot have him come on we, we declare that you cannot have his life and we declare hey that this evil spirit we send you back to the pit of hell come on and we command that you are trespassing in Jesus name now give him rest. Come on, give him rest. Hey, give him rest. Give him rest. Come on, open your mouth. Say you can't live here. There, yeah, come on, that you can't live here. Come on, open, say you can't live here. Come on, say it five more times. You can't live here. You can't live here. Come on, you can't live here. Hey. This, this rejection and this pain, the Lord says it's a leading source of the disruption of your rest. Father, give this man your peace. He can't call my Shabbat. He came to the altar because he heard your voice. Now we're praying that from this day forward, not another restless night. Come on, we give you praise that you're going to restore him now in everything that the enemy has stolen from him. Every employment opportunity, every home, every, every, every bit of money. Father, restore. In Jesus' name. And worry. Come on, right here and right now. Worry leaves. Yeah, come here, come here, Pastor. Worry, 
the, the spirit of worry. Yeah. Be broken. Come out. Be a Yeah, the, the Lord says, worry. It will no longer be your portion. The Lord says, every chemical imbalance, everything that's happening in your body, the Lord says, I'm regulating you. The Lord says that in, in your childhood, you were dropped, you, you were raised in unsure, in, in an unsure environment. You didn't know what was going to happen from day to day. And the Lord said from that place, the enemy built up a fear of tomorrow and a worry and what's going to happen. But the Lord says, I, you are in my care. Come on, say, yes, Lord. I declare that you will not live your life worried. And the Lord says, he declares unto you that you will not age fast. Hey, the Lord says you will your body will not take on sicknesses and diseases of those that are old because your brain and your heart has been worrying undue stress come on just say yes father restore rest to your people give them rest we declare that when they lay down that they will rest. Somebody say in Jesus' name. Rest, mother. Rest. Close your eyes, rest. There's a rest for you. They have, oh, there's a rest for you. Spirit of God, I want you to affirm this woman. The Lord says that you don't fully believe that you belong to him but the spirit of God told me to tell you he is in love with you no matter what now father these words let it penetrate God is giving you God verbiage to fight with say he loves me Come on, say, he loves me all the way down through and through. Father, give him your rest. Yeah, yeah. Give them your rest. Come on, just say, I receive. If you're at this altar, I want you to put your hands up. There's another wave coming. Just say, I receive it. We're not fighting for it. We're not petitioning heaven for it. It's already yours. Just say, I receive it. And... Say, the Lord says that there is a door mentally that is open. And, and this door that the enemy is coming through to, do, to disrupt your rest, he calls it a false burden. It is, it is a false identity of what a man is supposed to be doing. And how much he's supposed to be doing. And the enemy is using it to drive you. But the Lord says today, you receive healing. I come against now heart attacks. I come against strokes. Yeah, I, 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 I come against this choking. You are trespassing enemy. And, and, and we thank you that you can't have Daryl Brazel. The Lord says that your children and your wife, give them, oh yes, I, this thought of have I done enough and did I, did I raise them right? And even the one that is out of the state, the enemy is, is tormenting you about if you did enough. The Lord said, be free, man. Woo! The Lord said, be free. Yeah, get it hell. The God of the praise. Hey! Yeah, be free. Be free. Be loose. Hey, in Jesus. Be free, Daryl. Who the Son has set free is free in me. Be free. Be free. 
It's a lie. 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 Devil, it's a lie. Hey, it's a lie. It's a lie. The Lord says that there is an area in your mind where you are unsure. You are unsure if because of what all God knows about you, if you belong to him. Yeah. And it has drawn a wedge between you and your father God. But the Lord says today, I'm making it known that you are mine. And there has never been a season, there's never been a stage in your life that I was not with you, that my hand was not on you. something happen. Hey! But the Lord says forgive me. Hey! Hey! Oh! Come on, the Lord says I want all of you. I want to take all of you. The good and the bad. He said I want all of you. Come on, just tell him yeah. I want all of you. You have not you have not been sleeping. And the Lord says that it is the fear. Listen. He says it is the fear of control. It's the it's the fear of control something was ripped from you in your childhood and the enemy said to protect yourself brace yourself and so literally when you lay in your bed at night there is something that sits on your chest to restrict your echo Shabbat. But the Lord says today by the authority of Jesus. Yeah. In every, he says in every outburst. He says I'm coming to help. Come on say yes Jesus. Come on say yes Jesus. Come on Taja. God is going to free you this morning. And whom the son has set free. Come on you got to tear it from. Come on, say yes, Lord. Come on, say yes, Lord. He gets the help, but yes, Lord. Yeah. Come on, we pray in the seat. You cannot have the battle. Go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Come on, tell you. Go in Jesus' name. We declare a more terrible relationships. Hey. Come on. Oh. Heal. Oh. Come on, heal. Yeah. The Lord says, You are not alone. The enemy is lying that nobody understands. Woo. The Lord says, It's a lie. Come on, it's a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. Come on. The, the Lord. The Lord said, grieve. You were not done accepting whatever was ripped, whatever was taken, whatever was taken. 
you moved on, but the heart calloused over. Spirit of God, massage. The Lord says, you will find me. Listen. He says, you will find me in weakness. The Lord told me to tell you it is all right to be weak. It is a lie of the enemy to always be around here strong. It is a lie of the enemy that you need to be what you think strong is all the time. Marcus, I want you to grab, grab her. Because this thing doesn't want to let nobody, I mean, no, yeah, nobody in. There was a lock and there was a key. But the Lord said, your full healing tausia is coming through vulnerability. Confess your faults one to another that you may be healed. When you muster up enough strength to embrace your husband, the Lord says something is going to break. A lock, a block is going to break. And from this day forward, the Lord says I'm going to make it real easy for you. The mind is going to have to be retrained, but, but in the spirit, when you grab your man of God, your God covering, the Lord says, something's going to break for you. Thank you. Come on, just receive. Come on, just receive. Lord, we got to go. Listen. Though you can, though you have had to carry weight, and though you can carry it and get it done. The Lord says, I want to change the season. Oh, God. I want to, I'm changing the season in which you live. Yes, God. Yes, that's it. Let him in. Let him in. You are, your, your soul is stuck in an old season of your life where you had to be the answer, where you had to be the go-to, where you had to, where people wouldn't eat, they wouldn't make it, they wouldn't this, they wouldn't that, if you didn't. The Lord says, I want you to let that season go. so by put your hands up as high as you can. The Lord, I want you to right now denounce that season because it, 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 it has become a part of your identity. And, and there are people that are around you that know the old you and they pull on the I know she'll do. But the Lord said, you're not there anymore. Come on. And I want the Lord said, I want you to, to receive that new place. I'm not, I don't have to be the answer for everybody. Come on, the Lord said, I want you to move. Come on, the Lord said, I move you from that place. And he said, you rest now. Yeah, you rest now. You rest now. Your, 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 your breath is being restricted because you are holding it, expecting to brace yourself on who need me next. Who, but breathe. But breathe. Come on, Marlene, breathe. Come on, breathe. Nah, my breathe. Come on, play, Jay. Play. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, breathe. There it is. I want you to breathe. Yeah. 
trying to restrict you restrict your love oh la la masa and restrict your faith Ooh, breathe there is don't, don't go nowhere there is not a cap the enemy has told you that you only going so far I, I just heard, I, I just, when I lay my hands on you, yeah, you 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 go always rent. It's always going to be checked and checked. And the Lord told me to tell you that, that that lying devil, hey, yeah, the Lord said he's unlocking your faith. Yeah, I need you to lay a hand on your belly. He's unlocking your, yeah, be loose. Hey, yeah, be loose. There it is. When Zion to them. Be loose. Yeah. Yeah. When Zion to them. She brought for. What? Come on, can y'all pray for her for a second? You pray for my shoulder. There you go. That's where I want you to live. Woo! You were promised. He said, I'm not going to always leave you in the struggle. The Lord makes you a promise. It won't always be a struggle. But the Lord said, come through here in prayer. Come on, come through here in prayer. Come on, pray. Pray. And the prayer of faith. Daquan, real quick, real simple. Did I, did I pray for you? you up, give me your hand. Rest. Rest. I declare that worry. Ooh. Ooh I see you in that home. The enemy is playing a high definition. And, and there was a sequence of events that he keeps showing you. And this gonna happen. And this gonna happen. And yeah, come on. And you're gonna lose this. And then after that, the Lord says, It is a lie. And the Lord said, I want you to come into agreement with my word over your life. Come on, I want you to come into agreement. That God is not done with you. Yeah, I want you to come and do agree. I come against imposter syndrome. Yeah. When you're up teaching and preaching and praying, that voice that says that you are not qualified. Yeah, because of your history and because of this and because of that, the Lord said that's a lie. Hey, you, you are a pastor in the Lord's church. You are a mother in Zion in the Lord's church. And Satan, we serve you notice. Come on, let the full gift of God. Let, yeah, let the, yeah, let the full gift of God. Let the full gift of God. Let the full gift of God. The full gift. The full gift. The full gift of God. You are 
you are going to do more now than you have ever imagined. I want you to hear me. The goodness of God has preserved your life. It has been the blood of Jesus and it has been the word of the Lord over your life that has spared you. These summer, the Lord says, I'm going to teach you now another level of dependency on God. Ikomasa, and the Lord says, I'm going to use this to anchor you in me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make you depend. He said to me to tell you that, that the scripture is in him. We live, listen, we move, and we have our being. The Lord said, I'm, I'm going to put you in a classroom called I Walk by Faith and not by sight. The Lord says, I want you to draw close to me because it is my design to cause no dip in your household. The Lord says, I want to bless you. If you would just say yes. The Lord says, your praise today, your praise today went before you. And all that is needed. The Lord says, when, when you and your wife Shabbat the Lord back in your seat, he said, I confirmed that I'm with you. Father, I thank you for this man. That worry, he, he came up here because there's been a disturbance in his rest. But the Lord says that worry, I've cut out a place in the spirit for you, Daquan. And he says from that place, that's where you're going to have to live. Because if you come down, worry is going to be waiting, anxiety and panic attacks. But the Lord says, I'm going to take you up. My soba, the Lord said, I'm going to take you up and I'm going to make everything that's wrong. He said, I'm going to make it right. Somebody say, in Jesus' name, believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Believe I've got you. Woo. Your position in God, your service to the woman of God. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to use that seed now. Ha! Oh, my son, my. Somebody say, in Jesus' name, Father, I thank you for this young man. I, I pray for his future, that you would establish him young. And I give you praise that everything, every entity that is trying to mark him for the kingdom of darkness, the blood smears him. Hey, the blood preacher. God wants to bless you at a young age. Put your hands up. Put your hands up, preacher. The Lord says, I want to bless you young. I want to use your life as an example to your peers of what serving me young will do. Ooh, Father, help him to tell you yes. We pray for his future, for the longevity of his life. We declare that the streets can't have him. Father, I thank you that he won't tear his life up with a whole bunch of uh, children out of wedlock. I give you praise that everything generationally that has tried to uh, attach itself to the men in his lineage, it won't work. We thank you for the God seed that has been put in him. Come on, let it come up now. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Come and give the Lord a shout of praise. I, I want to just go one place this morning. One very, don't you do it. One very quick place. I already know what y'all trying to do. the Lord a wave offering. 
Come on, give the Lord a wave offering. Come on, give him a wave. Come on, give him a wave. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. Come on, give the Lord a wave offering. You're the only living God. Come on, just give him a wave on. You're the only living God. Come on, church. You're the only living God. Yeah, yeah. You're the only living God. Come on, say it. You're the only living God. You're the only saving God. You're the only saving God. And that's why we love you. 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 You're the only saving God. Oh. You're the only. Come on, sing it, y'all. You're the only saving God. You're the only saving God. And you're the only healing God. You're the only healing God. Hey, you're the only healing God. You're the only healing God. Everybody, that's why we love you. 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 I need to read this. Thank you. Second Kings chapter 13. Like five verses. Five verses. Five verses. Anybody got the victory this morning? Anybody get the victory? Um, Mother is Island. Is that your last name? Y'all got the same last name? Mother Island. The Lord. I don't know where you work at. I don't know how much, um, like, physical strain. They ain't gonna, she good. <laughs> what y'all do? I don't know how, how much physical strain is on your body. I don't know how much um, mental stress your job is. Um, huh? Uh, Put on you. I don't know how stressful your job is. The Lord says that by the end of the fall, there is new employment for you. God wanna put more money in your hand with less stress. The hours God wanna regulate your life. It's been a hard season. And you another, I'm just going to make it happen. But the Lord says, I, I want to bring you into a season of rest where you can rest. God says, I'm, I'm going to favor you. What you don't think you qualify for and certificate, all of that. The Lord says, apply. If there's a place of employment, if there's a position of employment within that company that you want to move up to, or if there's something else in the city. But the Lord says he wants to make it work-wise very easy for you. Work with less strain, more money. I'm looking at a whole bunch of vacation time 
your savings. God want to load you down because there are some things that you want to do, but but financially, you just, it just ain't. The Lord says if you would set your faith in agreement with heaven, he's getting ready to give you more. That makes sense. Say yeah. Gates of Refuge, I love y'all. Can we, can we give the Lord a shout of praise? Come on, can we thank God for his faithfulness? Go with, um, this is what we call cutting across the field. Go over real quick to 2 Kings. I'm going to show y'all why I can do it. <laughs> Go to 2 Kings very fast, as fast as you can. Go to the 13th chapter. It's a good Sunday. 2 Kings chapter 13. Go to the 14th verse. Does everybody have it? It is so good to see you. I thank God for every guest that is in the room um, and that is watching online. We could not do it without you. It wouldn't be the same without you. I want to acknowledge um, Pastor Noah Wood and, and the crew. They always tip in on us, and so we're so glad to have them. Say amen. You're not going to prevail. Gonna... Say amen for the minstrels. Pastor, um, Pastor Justin, Pastor Zach, and his wife, they went. To, uh, to Pastor Jessica, they went to St. Louis this weekend to minister, and so they came back early this morning, and so they are tired in their body, but you can't tell because the Holy Ghost is giving them, giving them energy. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to give you energy. I want to read this, listen, be, because I really believe this, this particular text of Scripture, we're going to read it real fast, is a prophecy to you. It is a prophecy to you, and it is a word of knowledge, rather a word of wisdom, word of wisdom, and also a prophecy to you. Say yes. I'm going to tell you what, what the prophetic word is before we read it. More is coming. If you can receive that word by the Spirit of God, it belongs to you. More is coming. More is coming. And if you got real faith, you can say, more is here. Come on, more is here. It's in cold to those of you who might have missed it by way of the Spirit. But when we're going to read this, I want to show you, say, more is coming. More is here. In every phase in God, there is a mindset that is associated with it. What God said to many of us this morning is that I want to free you, have freed you. Now we got to deal with the mindset. Say mindset. If you want to lose weight, you look in the mirror and say, I want to tighten up right here, love handles on my abs, or whatever it is that you see that you dislike, before you set yourself to start eating differently and to start exercising and lifting, there is a mindset. I wish I had somebody who didn't, who didn't, who got a gym membership, forgot about it, and then pff, blow the dust off of us. I got to, I got to get back in there. Anybody ever started and quit before? Anybody started and then got pregnant and then had to go back and, and relearn? Y'all don't want me. <laughs> um, but you'll find out with every. With everything that you endeavor to do, there is a mindset that is associated with it. There's a mindset between owning a home and renting a home. There's a mindset that must be associated um, with uh, clean, cleaning a house properly. There is a mindset that you have to have from going to being single to I'm now married. I was married now. Some of us are married, but we still behave. <laughs> you know, since you got the ring on, but in your mind, I'm still, y'all don't want to talk to. There is a mindset that has to accompany a new season. And so if you 
enter into a new season and keep the same mind, you're going to tear up the new season with the old mind. So when God transitions you, he also got to do it not only in your physicalness, but he got to do it in your mind. And so where many of us are at right now is that he's moved us, but now he's doing something in my mind. Say, Lord, help my mind. James Ruffin used to say, hey, got to keep my mind right. I help, help me to keep my mind right. Have you ever been in a situation you said, Lord, help my mind? Because if, if, if you don't help my mind, I'm going to say some stuff. <laughs> I'm going to say some stuff. I might, re I might set it off if you don't help my mind. Before you do it, you got to see it. Have you ever seen somebody, seen yourself choking somebody? Have you ever been talking and, it's, and, and you feel, your, uh, feel that thing rising up and you start grabbing your fist? And what starts to happen, you start to feel it right there in your belly. And you start seeing yourself doing. Y'all won't, won't be. I, it happens every week. I can see myself. So listen, I'm done. I'm going to read this and I'm done. The idea is for you to, is to do what you see. Because if you see it long enough. You'll do what you see. That's why John says it is not, uh, he talks about it has not been determined what we shall be. But we, we do know this is that when we see him, we shall be like him. When I see him, I shall be like him. And so if we can get the people of God to keep entering into the presence of the Lord, he'll deal with the rest. Woo! So say more is coming. But I need the mindset. So if you get a new house, my, my, my mom used to tell me, if you don't take care of what you got, you can't, you can't be around here justified asking God for better if you don't take care of what you got. Anybody ever been raised like that? Yeah, you got sand and sunflower seeds in, in the floor of your car, french fries, and you let the kids dip their hands in grease and then rub the back windows, and you, you asking God to take you to the showroom floor to get you a brand. You might get it, but if that mindset, some of us got junk in the trunk right now. <laughs> Basketballs and jump ropes and gym clothes and plates. and Come on out, devil. <laughs> but we want new. And because God is gracious, he'll give us new. But what, what happens is, is we'll turn the new into the old. Can I give you one more example? You ever seen somebody come up poor and then come up on a lick, get money, athlete, superstar, etc., and they move from the hood to the house on the hill, to Beverly Hills, but they turn the house on the hill into a big, into what? Into a project, just a big project. So there's uh, sheets hanging from the windows, <laughs> dishes always in the sink, just, just ain't no grass on the fridge, just dirt. Remember on next Friday when uh, uh, um, uh, Craig's uncle, remember how he was living? He was hood rich. Stuff was all out of order because he had money, but he didn't have the mindset. So they removed the Rancho Cucamonga from the hood, but he brought the hood to Rancho because his mindset was the same. Does that make sense? So more is coming. Clap your hands. Say more is coming. But God want to do something with our mind. Second Kings 13, 14. We want to read the 14th verse to the like 18th verse, and I'm done. Say this is my word. I'm reading this in English Standard Version. It says, now when Elisha had fallen sick with the illness of which he was to die, Joash, the king of Israel, went down and wept before him, crying, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel, and now it's horsemen. They say that based on the history of this king that he was a wicked king. He's wicked. He has not done all that God has commanded him to do over the people of God, and he's in trouble. Listen. What trouble is supposed to do is it will reveal who you are in God. Trouble will either make the God in you rise up or it will make the God in you retreat. 
That's what trouble will do. Trouble will either make you depend on God or it will make you throw God away. Trouble will either make you pray or it will make you run away from prayer. And so this king is running to the prophet. The whole idea of the prophet is that the prophet's function is to mediate communication for the divine knowledge necessary for the king and the country. In other words, the prophet's job in relationship with the king was the prophet would tell the king all through Old Testament, the king would say, should we fight? Should we go into the battle? The prophet would say, "Mm -mm, don't do it. They're going to get you. Or the prophet would say, go ahead. God is with you. The king was, uh, the prophet was the king's go-to in the communication with God. Does that make sense? Are we straight? Go to, almost done, verse 15. And Elisha said to him, the reason why this king is is saying what he's saying because they're in trouble. Now, he didn't been doing evil in the sight of the Lord all this time. Now he get in trouble. Now he want to go and find God. Ain't that like us? Ain't that like us? We live in fat, everything is good, and then God touched something that is important to us, and then we go into prayer. But God, because he's rich in mercy, he will allow situation to happen to drive us back to the place that we should have never left. Has God ever allowed you to live good and the blessing of the Lord is flowing and then something happened that make you turn your face back to God? Get your heart broken. He said, I need to get in my word. Well, you should have been in your word the whole time. Jessica would say, Buki. So he's coming to the man of God. This king is coming to the man of God because they're in trouble. Verse 15 says, and Elisha said to him, take bow and arrows. So he took bow and arrows. Verse 16 says, and then he said to the king, I want you to draw a bow. Now this man, the prophet, he's on his deathbed. I don't have time to to paint a picture, but he's actively dying. So it would be the equivalency of you trying to fight for your life at St. Francis, St. John, uh, one of them hospitals, Hillcrest, and somebody comes in and says, listen, I know you're sick, but I need a word. Some of y'all would have said, get, get him out of here now. I'm trying to rest, and you asking for a word. It's the equivalency of you being on the toilet trying to have peace in the bathroom, trying to shower, and your kids knocking on the door. Hey, mama, mama, mama. Or you get on the phone and the kids, start, it would be the, the, the annoyance. You don't want to start asking me questions until I get on an important phone call. Annoyed. So he says, he, he says <laughs> verse 15, second part of 15, 15, so he took bow and arrows. Listen, 16 says, and then he said to the king, draw a bow, and he drew it. And Elisha laid hands on the king's hands. Now he's sick. <laughs> Verse 17. And he said, I want you to open the window eastward. He opened it and Elisha said, I want you to shoot. And he shot. It says, and he said, the prophet said, the arrow of the Lord's victory. The arrow of victory over your enemy. For you shall fight the Syrians in Apex until you have made an end of them. That's the word of the Lord. In other words, your victory is already solidified. Say, it's already done. Come on, we got to settle this and I'm done. Say, it's already done. What you are worried about, God has already given you an answer to it. Where there is limitation, God has already set an answer of abundance. It ain't coming. It's already done. It's done. Say, more is coming. More is here. But it is in a mindset. So this king knows where to go. He knows who to call on. He knows who God is using in this hour to get a word. And God gives him his answer. It's self. But here's the last part. Here's the last part. You ready? Verse 18. And he said, take the arrows. And he took them. And he said to the king of Israel, I got an instruction. I give you the word of the Lord. I had a demonstration. Now I have an instruction. Everybody say this. Give me three minutes. Say faith instruction. 
Say faith instruction. The faith instruction for him is take the arrows, strike the ground with them. He does not tell him how many times to strike the ground. Wake up. He does not tell him how many times. He leaves it open for his faith. Because what God wants to know is, do you have a cap on me? He hides the solidification of the word of the Lord in the discipline of his faith. I'm about to show you. Open the window, shoot the arrow, the Lord's deliverance, you're going you're gonna to get the victory. But then God comes a different way, guy. Don't miss God in the shifts. Last Sunday we talked about the shifts of God. Don't miss God thinking that he's got to come the way that you think he should come. How we miss what God wants to do, the fresh thing, the new thing, the thing that we've been asking him for. A lot of times how God sends it, he sends it in a way that we did not expect. So we're asking God to send more. Do it. Give me the mindset. He said, I want you to commit to working out three times a week. Now, the instruction is not in the physical body. The blessing is what God wants to see. Can you do something three times a week? Hell or high water, can you discipline yourself? Uh, there's someone in here, if you can increase your discipline, it's yours. You're going to walk into what God said is yours if you can increase uh, your discipline. Some of you, you, you just need to go to bed at a decent hour. And so why he speak to your rest? Because you can't be productive on little sleep. Watch the plan of the enemy. If I can disrupt their rest then their productivity is limited because they're functioning on less than six hours of sleep. Can't sleep at night. And you wonder why. Maybe. Y'all don't have no sense. <laughs> but thank you. Make sense? Make sense? Light bulb, come on. Let me show you. Finish. I'm done. He hides their success in discipline. He says, take the arrows, verse, verse 18, I'm done. And he took them. Verse, he said, read 19. All right, I'm coming, man. I'm going to do it. He took them and he said to the king of Israel, strike the ground. Everybody say, strike the ground. And he struck three times and stopped. And the man of God was angry with him and said, I'm sick. I'm dying. You come in here for a word. God give you an instruction and you half tail do it. That's how my mother went. Remember I told you last week she told me to wash the dishes and I wash them, but then I put a towel out and set them up there on the dry. I set them on a towel to dry because I didn't want to go through the full process because I wanted to go ride my bike. So when she got home and saw dry dishes that are clean on a towel next to the sink, she said, you have tail, wash the dishes. Don't do it halfway. If you're going to clean the kitchen, these kids have a, a, a discrepancy. When you say clean the kitchen, that, that also means the countertops. That, I, oh, y'all don't, I wish, <laughs> that also means the floors. That also means the table. That also means the chairs. When you say clean the stove, I forgot about the stove, the stove, that microwave, all that spaghetti that y'all didn't warmed up and all that popping. You got to clean the roof of that microwave. You got to take that plate out of there. You got to sanitize that plate. You got to get that spinner. You got to dip that in. Okay, I'm sorry. You got the tray. Okay. We <laughs> tray. That's called cleaning. All right. Come on. What about the, 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 the cabinets? You got to wipe the cabinets. 
All the kids looking like, man, would he shut up? <laughs> now I'm done. Let me read verse 19. Let me read this. I'm done. He said, the man of God said it was angry with him and said, you should have struck five or six times. You should have struck five or six times. Then you would have struck down your enemy until you have made an end of it. But now you will strike down Syria only three times. I'm done. In other words, listen, listen. This is for every person in this room. In God, there is a number. Listen to me. How many times do I got to keep coming to church? How many times I got to keep lifting my hands? How many times I got to keep giving? How many times I got to keep forgiving? How many times? There is a breakthrough number. There is a breakthrough number in God. And God will not tell you when you are in the test how many times is the number that will get it broken through. He'll hide it. What will he hide it in? God will hide it in consistency. That's why you got to get the end. If you talk to somebody who's really an avid exerciser, listen. They will tell you, there there comes a period of time when you go to the gym and you say, I don't like what I see. And if you keep working it, you get your body where you want it. Those people don't stop working out. You know why they keep working out after they got their six pack, after they got their bones, whatever, after they got their, that stuff is all, you you know why they keep working out? Listen to me. Because they enjoy it. To maintain what they've already got. It no longer becomes, oh, I got to exercise. But it becomes, I'm going into the gym. I got to, because I feel better. Get the end off of your mind. Because if the end is the only thing that is on your mind, when you get it, you're going to let yourself go. <laughs> I thought you was what I was, but I, <laughs> you falling off. Because the end was the goal instead of the journey. I'm done. The end can't be the goal. It's got to be the journey. So our prayer this morning is, Lord, help us to enjoy the journey. Because you will miss the journey fixated on the end. That's why your children, that's why parents a lot of times cry at graduation. They may, they may not all tears of happiness. Some of those tears are, I missed out on formative years because I was worried. And I've opened my eyes and my baby is graduating. Where did the time go? Fixated on the end instead of enjoying the journey. That's why grandparents spoil their grandbabies because they are getting an opportunity to redo it. I should have gave y'all cookies when you asked, but <laughs> that's why they just give them, can't give them whatever they want because they feel bad because they raised you strict. <laughs> they, 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 ra- they beat on you. I told my kids the other day how far my mom used to let me ride my bike. They still ain't got over it. I can't believe. So when I have grandbabies, I'm going to be Giving them cookies and crackers. All of that. And send them back to mama's house. Say yes, Lord. Close your eyes. Father, I thank you this morning. I give you the glory and I give you honor that today you are challenging us to commit to discipline. Come on, play. I, I thank you that every person in this room that is expecting you for the next. There are promises over our head and the enemy does not want us to grab a hold to them. But Jesus, I give you the glory and I give you praise. You have already made the way. Now say, help me. Come on, say, help me in my discipline. Come on, open your mouth and say, Lord, help me. Help me, not help me in my discipline. Help me in my discipline. 
where I have fallen off. Just, just find one area this week. Your, some of you, it's your eating. God will talk to you about an area that he wants to discipline you in, that you need to be more disciplined in. The Lord says if you do it, it's spiritual. I call my Shabbat. The Lord says if you do it, it's going to open up a door that has been closed to you. Come on, receive this. The Lord says if you commit to it, it's going to open up another God door. This is not about food. This is not about waking up at a certain time. It's about discipline. Can I do what I know is good for me, even though I don't want to? Say, Lord, I need discipline. Come on, say, Lord, I need discipline. I'm done. I've seen, I've seen people make a decision in their body with their life as it pertains to discipline in heaven respond. Heaven respond. I'm just not, we were out to eat uh, the other night. Tika said, I'm not, I don't eat sweets. I said, what you mean? Like a, <laughs> what you talking about? She said, I, I don't, I've made a decision that my body don't need it. I said, oh, you say, say, you, you, got, you lay hands on somebody. So, a decision to not, ooh, she pops soda, uh, cookies, candy. She said, my body doesn't need it. I said, so you don't want none of this cake? She said, mm, mm She said, my body doesn't even ask for it. She said, after 47 days, my body tells it, you don't need that. So there's not a craving anymore. It's a discipline. It's a discipline. Find an area. Find an area to tweak, to intensify your discipline. Not to make him love you more, not to be more qualified, but because where you are going is going to require some more discipline. Say, yes, Lord. Come on, say, yes, Lord. See, if, if for an example, if you don't like where you work at and you show up, you know, late because you know, I run it, I've been here that long, and then God gives you a new job. And you still behave, I run it. They're going to they fire. They're going to put some gasoline on you. They're going to light you up. They're going to fire you real good, fast, fast, quick, in a hurry. Say, so I can't take the mindset of the old season into the new one. This, this, this baby you want to pray for, is this the preacher? Is this the baby? Is this your baby? Great grandbaby. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. God, we give you praise. I thank you for your peace. I give you praise, Father, that you will do great and mighty things through this young man. Keep him wherever he lives. Father, I'm asking you to preserve him in every environment that he would come in and out of. I thank you that no devil, no enemy, no adversary would be able to attach itself to his life. He's blessed. Father, let him accomplish more than any other male that has came before him. Make him a business owner. Father, make him a storehouse. I thank you that you would keep him pure. Yes. Preserve his purity. We come against the plan of the enemy. You can't have him. You can't touch his life in any plan, in any weapon. We declare that it will not prosper in Jesus' name. You say amen. Will you give God one big great shout of praise for what's coming? Come Pastor Brian, what's what's coming? Say yes. I want to um I want to make a announcement. Eco Nobody 
but the law. I'm going to say it again. Nobody but the Lord. And so I want to, first of all, I want to thank every one of you for your uh, support of the vision of the ministry. I want to thank you for your giving. Can you give yourself a hand? Y'all have been extremely... Um, So that's a that's an outside um, picture of the exterior. Beautiful, and so um, those of you who have been working behind the scenes, the congregants, I want to thank you for your support. We have been in this building 14 years, almost 14 years, but we moving, y'all. Say amen. It is a very, it is a very good thing. You got something for me? It is a very, um, I'm excited. Yes, I'm trying to stay in my, in my church boots. But it is a very good thing. We give all credit and glory to the Father for making ways where there was no way. I, um, I also want to let you know this Sunday, this will be the last, this was the last Sunday in this building. And so Pastor Brandon told the executive staff to go, uh, don't do this, but you know, write, write your name. Uh, <laughs> uh, make sure you lay your hands on the walls or something to mark that if you got delivered, if you got married. How many of y'all got married in this building right here? If you had a marriage, know somebody that got married in this building, in, whether it was in my office, one of these side offices. If you've ever been rebuked, if you've ever had marriage counseling in this in this church right here, come on, raise your hand. If you've ever fell out, if you've gotten saved or know a family member, we have left our mark uh, on this corner way back here in, in Dawson area. And so we're moving. So um, Sunday, this Sunday, this was our last Sunday here. Next Sunday, we're going to be there. We're going to be right there. All right. Just take a picture of that, of that address if you need to. Take a picture of that address so you know. And so what we're going to do um, Tuesday, I'm going to say this and I'm done. What we're going to do this two, up and coming Tuesday night is that we're not going to have service. I want every member, every son, every daughter to come to the building. And we're going to do some packing. So you can come with your sweats, come with your hair tied up, uh, throw some brood on, put some comfort. Don't come in here, no flip-flops. We're going to pack this church up. Some, some are going to be starting today. But we're going to pack it up so that we are prepared and settled in for Sunday. All right? The building is beautiful. Um, we have been in meetings day in and day out and communicating, but we are excited. Am I leaving anything out, Pastor, Pastor Brandon? All right. Saturday. So Saturday, all of us, 8 a.m. Everybody say 8 a.m. That's a discipline. That's a discipline time. That ain't sleep in time. 8 a.m., I'm asking all of us to come back to um, get ready to make the move. We're going to pack up as much as we can Tuesday night. Then Saturday morning at 8, we're going to be up here to move it. We've got some U-Hauls already prepared. And we're going to actually make the move Saturday at 8 a.m., all right? Department heads, they're going to communicate with those of you who serve in different departments in the ministry so you'll know about all this information. If you are um, a worker or a volunteer in any department in the ministry, make sure before you leave you see whatever department head that you serve under so that they can verbally give you, verbally give you all of the details of what's happening, all right? The women, Pastor Brandy's going to get with the women so that y'all can get together to clean this new building. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's well lit. Y'all going to have some room to run. We're going to do some lat. We're going to have more, more than enough room. Parking lot. Always good. If it's raining outside, you can pull up underneath that awning, huh? Feel important. We, maybe we have somebody wearing a red shirt valeting you. Maybe not. All right. Listen, last point, and I'm done. It is going to require your financial support as well going forward. Say amen. And so, as I said earlier, this cannot be done. Uh, this is not a one-man show. Bishop has raised us and trained us that this ministry is not based on a personality. 
this is based on the vision that God entrusted us with. And so it is going to take the back door to the front door to make all that we're going to do going forward and all that we have done. And so at this time, I need. So Tuesday, 7.
Amen. Stand to your feet. I'm going to dismiss you, let you go. Dismiss you and let you go. Okay. If you are part of the music department, where you want them at? Just right up here for a few minutes. Pastor Zach has some information to give you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning for healing. We thank you for deliverance. Spirit of God, I'm asking you to be with us this week as we transition. I, I declare that none of these would be lost in the shuffle. Father, as we transition, I'm asking you to hold us together. Father, I thank you for this family atmosphere. We thank you for this physical building that you have provided for us every Tuesday, every Sunday. Father, we bless you. We leave a seed this morning and we mark that we have been here. We thank you for a place, a safe place to worship you. We thank you for every deliverance, for every healing, for every salvation, for every breakthrough that has happened underneath this roof. Father, as we leave this place to never worship here again, I give you glory that you have already blessed us in the crossover. Somebody say, in Jesus' name, amen. Make sure you greet somebody before you leave.